Yo, what's going on, you guys? Pony Montana here. And if you guys are looking for one of the most broken plays in Madden 22, look no further because this is the video for you. Before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, as always, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. We are almost at 12,000 subscribers. We cannot do that without your help. Make sure you guys are sharing this video because this is going to be one that you guys are actually. I know I know I've been getting right into it, but this is going to be one that is worth sharing and, you know, getting the word out there. So EA potentially patches this. This needs to be patched. Now, I was told to look into the flea flicker. Not a lot of people have actually put a video out on this. And today, this is exactly what we are doing is showing you guys how to how to execute the flea flicker in Madden 22. What you're going to want to do is have an escape artist quarterback so if you guys are playing mutt you guys want your michael vick your your randall cunningham your patrick mahomes whoever has whoever can whoever can get escape artist you're going to need that person secondly you're going to want all five routes to be out on the field doing something it doesn't matter what it is put them all on streaks i like having them kind of crisscrossing just to get different route combinations open and then thirdly you are going to want to have your running back on the strong side of the quarterback. If you guys are running this in single back, that's a whole different situation. I haven't lab single back as much because I've just been in shotgun just to get a little bit more space just in case the random blitz comes in. You got a little more time to run out of the pocket and kind of go crazy. So running back on the strong side of the quarterback, which means if the, if he's right handed, you're going to want the running back on the right side. If he's left handed like a Michael Vick or Steve Young, when it, eventually whenever he comes out in Mutt, you're gonna want the, the running back on the left side. So, how you run the flea flicker. For those of you guys who don't know, to pitch the ball, it's L1. And what we're trying to achieve here, I'm just gonna call this play called Flood because it's been working for me. It's been working a little more consistently than the others. And what you're trying to achieve is this. Okay, let me let me put the route combination that I feel would work decently against this and slants, you know, just to kind of bring down the zones, a streak to make sure that we have somebody up going all the way up over the top just in case. And then we're going to double team this outside guy just in case there might be some pressure coming. So what you're going to want to do is roll out, throw it to the running back. That running back is going to then pitch it to you and then you're going to see one of the buttons light up and if one of the buttons is lit up you throw it no matter what because the zones are coming down which means everybody's coming towards you because they're they're looking at you as the and that they're, they're, they're looking at you as the main runner another thing that i forgot if you, you cannot run this against man coverage it'll make that it'll make pitching it to the running back very very difficult and you guys just won't be able to get the playoff it will be very frustrating and you guys will sit there and wonder why why you can't achieve this little glitch right now always open wide open and this is exactly what we want we want everybody to target the quarterback so that one of our routes that we put out on the field ends up wide open now you can do this with any flat but this flat towards the running back is one of the easiest so you take the running back and you put him on a swing right swing him the same way that you're running with your escape artist quarterback and then have your five routes going somewhere not towards the flats unless they're slants because slants are going up the field a, a little bit so if you have a hot route master with escape artist very rare but eventually in an ultimate team they will put those out very rare but you will eventually end up with those types of players so you can put any of these routes make sure that they're not doing any like triple move type of combos and stuff like that streaks wheel routes those work great and then you motion out, you go, you hit that second level, you pitch it back, and you see how X is wide open? X is, X is wide open for a touchdown. Now, the reason why we can't throw to any of the other players on the field is because they, they engage with one of the defenders after we cross over, okay? So EA, EA doesn't register them as receivers. I think that little bump that Kelsey had ended up forcing that to make him keep running his route as you can see he's all the way up there he's he's the only one still running his actual route which means we could have thrown that if we if if we had enough time the beauty about this is you can always throw this ball away if you're doing this tactic it's it's a cheesy thing to do but hey man lie cheat steal we're all about it we're all about cheesing as much as possible so as you can see Mahomes, nobody open you could throw the ball away 
this is gonna work one one out of the four times on every single down this is gonna work so we're gonna do this until we get it to work on one of the four downs Mahomes looks like he's wide open and R1 is wide open nice for a wide open touchdown beautiful play very <laughs> very very glitchy I'm gonna show the replay on that just to, just to kind of showcase okay so as soon as you call hike, you're running out towards the outside. And the reason you want to do that is to make sure that your quarterback is the person that you're pitching to. This is going to take a little bit of practice to get down. And, but as you can see, this man is wide open. And the best, the, the main reason that I'm running this bunch is because the three receivers are on the same side. So you're going to have three different options coming across the same side of the field from two streaks because I'm streaking the tight end. And I have a slant coming across just in case he ends up open or lighting up. And then I have a slant going to the opposite side of the field, which makes it so that there's not going to be a user in town that's going to be able to help you help anybody out. It's very glitchy. It's very annoying. But this is the result. You can't run. The only thing that you can't do is run this against man coverage. And I'll show you guys exactly why we're going to we're going to call cover two man run the same exact setup. Cover two man, same exact setup. I'm streaking. I'm just streaking the tight end. I'm putting square and O or X and B. If you guys are on the Xbox, I'm putting them on slants and I'm taking triangle or Y. If you guys are on the Xbox and I'm putting him on a swing to the right. And that's that's the combination. Double team in that outside guy motion over right. But you see how you see how this guy is already there. It makes it very hard to get that throw off because everybody's already so close. Now you can try to put you can try to put the running back on an on an actual out route instead. If you can get this to work on man coverage, more power to you. But I as 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 long as I've been trying to make this work, it's been very very hard to do so. But as you can see, the out route there, it leads to sometimes pitching it back to the lineman. And it's weird because there, there's blocking up the field, but you still don't you don't get penalized for it. So that's something that EA is going to have to patch if this ends up gaining any type of traction. This is something that I feel like a lot of people should start running in things like weekend league. Nobody's running a route, so we just simply throw, throw it away. Very, very simple once you get the hang of it. And it's going <laughs> to. It's gonna get real real frustrating for anybody that you guys are playing so let's run it let's run it a couple more times before before i get out of here just to show you guys that it's not no fluky our one is all open as you can see man as long as they're that wide open you're either gonna you're, you're gonna under throw that pass you're never gonna overthrow it you're gonna always under throw that pass because they're too far away that's a hold on that's a 70 that's a 60 something yard pass right there that is a that's about that's about a 60 yard pass there's about six 58 yard pass in the air for 50 yards actually more than that because you're we're at the 25 and we pass all the way to the 12 yard line that's a that's a that's a 60 yard pass in the air so let's run it one more time because this is so glitchy <laughs> uh i hope you guys like this because this is this is actually one of the glitchier things ever put out I'm, i i feel like uh oh x is open and look it it's just gonna get it's gonna get dangerous for anybody that's, tr that's trying to play you hopefully this video ho share this video for me share this video this is one of the, uh, the share it just share it do your do your due diligence and share the video like the video subscribe if you're new my name is pony montana as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys